Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are starting on page 125 and we are looking at bar graphs. Right? So we've done tally charts and picture graphs and now we're looking at bar graphs. And you can see that's called a bar graph because it's made of bars. Right? So that is why this is called a bar graph because each of these are considered bars. Now here we have a vertical bar graph, right? So it goes top to bottom, or bottom to top rather. Uh, you can also have horizontal um, bar graphs where they go out like this, All right? Let's look at this one specifically. Let's read our story problem. It says, Jay records the favorite amusement park ride of a group of second graders, All right? So here we have the pirate boat, the Ferris wheel, the bumper car, and the carousel. Now, which ride is the most popular? How do you find out, All right? So which one is the most popular? Blank is the most popular ride among the students. The bar graph shows the data for 30 students, right? So which one is the most popular? Which one do most of the kids like? Yeah, the pirate boat. How do you know? Well, you know just by looking at the fact that its bar is taller. Its bar is higher, and therefore it is uh, the most popular. We also see that it has the highest number because its its top refers to this 10 right here, whereas the next most popular one only has nine, right? So pirate boat is the most popular ride among the students. Blank students chose to ride this, okay? So you go all the way up to its very top, and then you go straight across, and what number is that? It's a 10. Now, blank students chose the pirate boat or the carousel, right? So here, we're gonna wanna see how many students there are. So, um, so this one's supposed to be 10, it's 10 years tall, all right? So choose uh, the pirate boat or the carousel, all right? So pirate boat was 10, Right, and then we're gonna to wanna to add in the carousel. So carousel is right here, so it goes up to here, and then we come over, and it has four. So we do 10 plus four, and 10 plus four is 14. So 14 students chose the pirate boat or the carousel. Blank more students chose the pirate boat than the carousel, All right? So here, we wanna look for difference, and difference is the answer to a Subtraction problem. So 10 students chose the, um, the pirate boat. Four students chose the carousel. So 10 minus four is what? Six, All right? Another way you can do this is you can see here, here's the top and pirate boat goes all the way up to here. So you can count the boxes missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, All right? So either way you get six. All right, let's look at page 126. So here is a bar graph, but instead of being vertical, it is horizontal, right? So let's look at this one. It said, Miss, Mrs. Long baked All right. Uh, Mrs. Long baked some muffins. The bar graph shows the number of each type of muffin, right? So here we have blueberries, bananas, walnut and chocolate, right? And here's how many of each, um, each type. Mrs. Long baked blank different types of muffins. So how many different types do we have? We have one, two, three, four. So there are four different types of muffins. She baked blank blueberry muffins. So let's find blueberry. So here we go all the way out to the end and then we follow this line down. So she baked seven of those. She baked blank more blueberry muffins than walnut muffins. We know seven, all right? We wanna find difference, so we're gonna use subtraction, and we're gonna do walnut. So walnut, she baked, go all the way out to the end, go straight down, five. So seven minus five equals two. Most of the muffins baked were blank muffins, right? So what was the most common one that she baked? Blueberry, right? Or not blueberry, sorry, I misread that. Banana, banana is the most common. All 
right? She baked blank muffins and all, all right? So how are we gonna figure this out? Well, we need to see how many of each one she did and then add them all together. So here she baked, so blueberry was seven, banana was 10. Okay, so we'll figure out those. Seven plus 10 is 17. All right now let's do 17 plus walnut. Walnut was five. Seven plus five is, oops, let's scoot down so can see it better. Seven plus five is 12. One plus one is two. All right, so now we have 22. Let's add in chocolate, go all the way out to the end, come down, eight. Two plus eight is 10. One plus two is three. So how many did she bake in all? She baked 30 muffins in all. Mrs. Long had blank mu uh, banana muffins left after her children ate four of them. All right, so now, how many did we start with? 10. Her children ate four of them, minus four. And how many does she have left? Six. All right, let's look at page 127. Students in Riley's class chose their favorite pet. Right? So each star represents one student. Right? So we have fish, rabbits, cat, and hamster. They make a picture graph to show the data. Right? So here's their picture graph. Right? Use the data in the picture graph to complete the bar graph. Right? So we need to do fish. So they've already done rabbit and cat for us. We need to do fish. So how many fish do we have? One, two, three, four, five. All right. So we come here and we're going to draw a line straight across at five. So that goes straight to five. Draw our line down. And then you could just do this in pencil, but I'll do it in a colored pencil. Uh, let's do fish in, let's do fish in red. Okay, I'm going to do fish in red. You could just use a pencil, but I'll use some different colors here. All right. Now, rabbit was supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's what they did. Cat is supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what they did. Hamster is supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so here's hamster, this one. And we gotta go up to where it makes a straight line with six. And if I follow that straight across, that gets to six. So now we're gonna go down, down. And you can choose any color you like. You could just use pencil if you wanted, but I'll use, um, let's see what's a good one. This one I haven't used. I'll use, this is black. I guess I could just use pencil. There we go. All right, so that is how you draw a bar graph, all right? Big thing is just making sure that it lines up right where it's supposed to. All right, let's turn to page 128. And this is actually an activity that we are going to skip, all right? Because it requires you to ask your classmates questions. And so we're gonna skip over that. And let's go to page 129, which is practice on your own. All right, so you're gonna do page 129, page 130 page 131, and page 132, right? So do your best to do this independently. If you need some help from an adult, that's okay, but do your best to try to do it on your own, and then when you're finished, come back and we'll review it together. Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so hopefully you're able to finish this. Let's go ahead and look at this together. It says that Connor's class chose their favorite activity at the school carnival. The bar graph shows the number of students who chose each activity, right? So here we have face painting, sand dart, balloon darts, and ring toss. Right? Fill in the blanks. How many students chose sand art? Right? So we come to sand art, we go up, we come straight across, and the answer is five. How many students chose face painting? So find face painting, go up, 
and over, and it is seven. How many more students chose ring toss than balloon darts? So when it wants how many more, it's asking for difference. It's gonna be a subtraction problem. All right, chose ring toss. So ring toss, start here, go all the way up. Now it comes straight across. It's nine. And balloon darts. Balloon dart starts here, come up, go over, four. And what's nine minus four? Five. What was the most popular activity chosen by Connor's class? So which one did they like the most? Well, so everyone has the highest bar, right? And that is ring toss. All right, let's look at page 130. Okay. So here, Gavin's class organized a movie night for a fundraiser. The bar graph shows the number of tickets sold in four days, right? So here is Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. So they actually went kind of backwards here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All right, now Gavin's class sold the greatest number of tickets on blank Blank day on with what day did they sell the most? Which one has the longest bar? Thursday. They sold blank tickets that day. How many tickets did they sell? Come all the way out to the very end of that line, come straight down, and it is 11. They sold an equal number of tickets on what days? What days did they sell an equal number? On these two, right? Because these bars are the same length. So Monday and Wednesday. All right. Now on Tuesday, they sold how many? So let's go to Tuesday. Come all the way to the end. Come straight down. And we have 10. It was one less than the number of tickets sold on what day? So here, it's one less. So which one they had that's one less would be, so they need to add to it to get 11. Which day has 11? Thursday. Gavin's class sold five tickets on Friday. Right? So Friday's not in here. They sold a total of blank tickets in five days, right? So here they're telling us something that's not on this graph. So we need to figure out how many sold in these four days and then add Friday on. So here, all right, we have Monday had six, Tuesday had 10. Let's add those together. Six plus 10 equals 16. Okay, so now we need to add in Wednesday, Wednesday had six. Six plus six is 12. One plus one is two. So 22 plus two Thursday, all the way out here, down is 11. Two plus two is three, or sorry, two plus one is three. Two plus one is three so now we have 33 now we have to add in fridays which was five three plus five is eight three plus nothing is three so they sold 38 tickets all right let's look at page 131. the tally chart shows how a group of second grade students get to school. All right, so here we have bus, car, bicycle, and walk. Use the data in the tally chart to make the bar graph, right? So here they've already done it. So here we need to go how high for bus? Five, six. So bus is gonna be up to six. All right, car. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. So for car, we're gonna come all the way up to nine and draw our line. There we go. Bicycle, one, two, three, bicycle. One, two, three. And then walk. Five and five make ten. So we're gonna come all the way up to ten. And you could just shade those in with any color, but I'll just use, or just even just with pencil, but I'll shade them in with color, make it a little bit easier to see. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. All right, here we go. Let's turn over to page 232, 232. All right, so for this one, we're gonna to need to use the data we just collected. So how many students walk to school, All right? So go back to that page. How many students walk? Go up here and over, 10. 10 students walk. All right. How many students are there in the group? All right, so how many students are there in the group? So here, to figure out this, we're going to add all of them up, all right? So bus has six. Let's add car, which is nine. Six plus nine is 15. So now we have 15 plus three. Five plus three is eight. One plus nothing is one. And then we need to add in the last one, which is walk, which is 10. And eight plus 10 is eight. One plus one is two, 28. So let's go back to page 28. What is the least popular way to get to school? Right, so which way do they not like to take? They don't like to take bicycle. Okay, so bicycle is the least common. Putting my I my Y in the wrong place. Bicycle. All right. Here we go. And how many fewer students students take the bus to school than walk? Okay. So here, how many walk is ten. We're looking for fewer, so we're looking for difference. So we're going to subtract. So walk, take the school bus. So bus is six. So 10 minus six and 10 minus six equals four. Now, on a certain day, two students who walked to school decided to take a, take, to take a bus to school. How many students took the bus to school that day? How many students walked to school that day? Explain your answer. All right, so let's just deal with how many students normally take the bus. Normally, it's six students who take the bus. All right. One, two, three, four. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then how many students normally walk? 10, right? So on a certain day, two students who walk decided to take the bus. Okay, so walk here. Make sure everyone can see it nice. There you go. And see that right? 
Plus was six, walk is ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now I've given a bar that represents ten for walking, six for bus, right? <clears throat> so two students who walked to school decided to take the bus. That means on this day, they chose not to take the not to walk, but instead took a bus. So I took them away from here and I added them to here. All right? So how many students took a bus to school on that day? How many students are there are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight students took the bus. How many students walked to school on that day? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? Explain your answer. So, eight students. walked because 10 minus 2 equals 8. 8 students took the bus because 6 plus 2 equals Oops, six plus two equals eight. All right. Well, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.